Tonight, striking new details in a string of six murders that rocked the valley back in May and June. 56 year old Dwight Jones ended up taking his own life after police say he went on a killing spree over several days. Team 12's Antonia Mejia has been going through hundreds of pages of newly released information in this investigation and joins us live from the Alert Center. Antonia? Caribe, well, quickly after connecting the deadly shootings to Dwight Jones, detectives placed a GPS on his Mercedes. And now we're seeing the pieces of evidence police collected from this man as they followed him around. Undercover cops monitored every move Dwight Jones made from June 3rd on. They followed him to a shopping center near Scottsdale Road and Shea Boulevard that Sunday afternoon and watched as he buried a bag inside a dumpster near a grocery store. These brand new images showing the bag police were able to retrieve. Inside, a 22 caliber semi-automatic handgun. Bullets were loaded, but the chamber was empty. Police say that weapon belonged to Jones's fifth and sixth of victims, a Fountain Hills couple. The documents also show Jones would also throw away a second bag across the street in a convenience store dumpster. Inside, a black hat believed to be the one he wore the evening he shot and killed his first victim, Dr. Stephen Pitt. Now, just hours after that evidence was found, police would find Jones dead inside his hotel room from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. We're live in the Alert Center, Antonia Mejia, 12 News.